welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be on how to bench press. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. If you're interested in training, feel free to email me. The link or the information is down below. I would hope this video finds you well because I've gotten some questions on how to press. It's simple. So whenever you talk about compound movements, you squat, you bench, and you deadlift. Um, you can do Olympic style weightlifting, you can do just a ton of other kind of variations, but I'm going to show you how to bench press, some things to keep in mind so that you can execute the movement as efficiently as possible and to help you get stronger over time. Things are about to get serious, so I'm removing my flannel. Okay, so you always want to warm up properly before you do any sort of bench benching because your shoulders are pretty vulnerable. Your shoulder is a ball and socket joint. So it's really vulnerable, um, or at least it can be. So you really want to stretch and open up the, the kind of the chest cavity. So one of my favorite stretches that I like to do to stretch out my shoulders um, is I, you want to imagine you have a stick behind your shoulder blade or behind your behind your deltoid. So this is your deltoid, and you're going to grab the stick and you're going to pull away. Okay, this really kind of helps warm up the rotator cuff. Um, the rotator cuff are all of the muscles um, that help to stabilize the joint and come back down. Open up, come back down. Okay, you can do different angles. So obviously this is one angle, this is two angle, this is three angle, but the farther back you can go, the better. Um, sometimes I like to go around the world, whatever floats my boat, whatever gets me warmed up, okay? The next stretch, I'm gonna jump into the video here in a second, just be patient with me. Because um, warming up is really important. I like to use TheraBands. TheraBands is a physical therapy, uh, ex, uh, a physical therapy tool. TheraBand. What you're going to do? Another one to open up the rotator cuffs. I'm going to hold it like this, like I'm holding a silver platter. I'm delivering my dinner to my to my to my fiance. Although I haven't met him yet. So you're gonna start here. You're gonna open, come back in, open. I'm back in. Really simple. I got the red because I'm a fire. Okay, I like to use red because my favorite color is red, pink, and that's it. Of information on the internet. And you should be careful who you listen to and who you don't listen to because some people are not qualified to speak on this topic because they don't bench press. So if you don't bench press, how are you going to teach someone to bench press? Right? Am I right or am I right? I bench from Titan Fitness and it's super light. I can pick it up like that. Okay. Um, and it declines or declines and reclines, um, but it's pretty stable. And as you can see, when I put my hand on the bench, it doesn't move. So it's a, it's a non-slippery bench. So it's really good if you're into, uh, if you're into powerlifting or any sort of heavy kind of weight training bench exercise okay my hair looks good today okay so before i go into a little bit of the video why should you listen to me well i'm kind of lightweight although i know i look huge and in other words i'm like 56 kilos give or take a little more um but um you're learning from someone that can, from a lady, from a female, yes, identify as a lady and a female, and I'm proud of that too, and can do two times plus her body weight on bench. Name someone else that can do that. There's some, some, some ladies, but there's not a lot. Name someone else that can do that and is teaching you how to do that. Exactly. I'll show you how I set up and how I would encourage you to set up um, whenever you're benching, you want to really dig your traps into the bar. So when I say traps, this is your trap, your trap, your, these are your traps. It's your trapezius. It ties, it starts from the shoulder and in, from the back and it ties into the neck. Okay, so your traps are these muscles here. When you go on the bench, you're laying like this, this excessive arch when they're benching and that works okay. Um, I don't, I'm not opposed to that. I find that it works for many people. Um, but I think that um, if you're trying to use an excessive um, kind of rounding or not rounding, but excessive curvature in the spine when you're benching, 
Um, I personally am not impressed. I'm gonna lay down, and I see a lot of people, they tend to do this. <laughs> okay, um, again, not my, particularly my style. I tend to teach it uh, more so. I tend to teach this obviously more towards dudes because dudes rock. And um, I uh, dig my glutes into the bench and I dig my traps into the bench. So I'm here, I pause and I press, okay? Feet pointed forward or slightly outwards and you'll notice my feet are flat. Um, some people tend to come up. I used to do this, um, but it varies on the federation that you are competing in. Um, but I prefer to be flat because when I'm flat, I'm, I have a better um, ability to push my heel into the floor and push towards the bench, to push towards the bar and start benching. Set up, so I, I start in position, I'm sitting, and then I lay back. Some people like to put their toes like this. I like to put mine flat, mine are flat on the floor. I dig my traps into the bar, okay? and I'm ready, okay? Some people like to go really wide. I notice some guys do that. Some people like to go really narrow. I go about enough to get the quad um, activated. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to lift it off now. So it's pretty simple. You start with the starting forward position. I'm gonna take a big breath in, lift, and then start Get ready to start. So I'm here, big breath in, always through the di through the diaphragm. And I come to my sternum, I touch my chest. So I touch my chest and I push. Touch my chest and I push. Now you're benching, I find that you want to use your quads to push away. So when you're here, you're, you're let's say I'm laying down, you wanna dig those feet into the floor and push the ground away from you as you push the bar up because it will give you a lot more power than just relying strictly on the upper body. Um, that's, not, that's not to say to not use your upper body, but you want to um, take advantage of as much of your body as, as possible when you are um, bench pressing. Bench, they'll stop right here. And I do this and I find that that's very, um, that won't really help you with strength. So, I mean, it, it can, but you're not really getting, you're not getting the full range of motion. So I would argue that you want to um, touch your chest and then push back up. Another thing I see people do when they're benching is their head comes up. So they're here and they do, or they're here and they come down, they do this, which is really um, not so smart, not so safe, especially as the load gets heavier. So I would obviously keep your head on the, on the, on the bench as much as possible um, when you're benching. Another tip with benching is breathing. So same thing as I covered in the squat video and in the deadlift video. Anytime you exert force, you exhale. So if you're down to your sternum, um, you already have a big breath in. And as you're pushing, you're exhaling. To recap the video, because benching, I think, is pretty straightforward. You just bench. Um, what you also want to imagine when you're doing your bench press is you want to make an upside down J. So you don't want to press straight. You want to make an upside down J. So you start from your sternum and you push back. Anytime you do a press, you're always pushing back toward the, towards a little bit past your shoulder blades or past your anterior dome. Um, you don't want to push straight away because that's a lot of, that's a big distance from, um, it just puts a lot of stress on the shoulder. So you don't necessarily push straight. You want to push upward then back um, as, a, as a quick, quick tip, okay? Okay, so I'll stop the video there. Pretty self-explanatory. I could go more into detail, but I think that there's just so much more 
to it than just actually, there's much more to it than just actually teaching it. It's actually a matter of doing it and finding a rhythm that works for you. I think the main takeaway that I want to say, I think the main takeaway that I would like to, like to say though, is that it comes down to, again, your breathing, your feet placement, your hand placement, keeping your head on the bench. Don't do an excessive um, kind of flexibility workout while you're actually benching. Focus on getting it stronger and um, watch your bar path as you're benching, making sure that the bar stays even as it goes down and it comes back up. Those were my tips on how to bench. It comes down to feet placement, hand placement, breathing, um, no understanding your body mechanics, your body leverages, your sternum, you push up and back. You don't want to push straight in front of you. Um, you always want to push up, back. So you start here, you push up, back, here, up, back. Okay, so that's the video on how to bench. I hope that genuinely, I hope that that, that genuinely did, did help you. Feel free to check out the article below. I'll have more details there. If you are a reader, you like to read a little bit more, um, you know, how to do it properly. The one thing I will say from the main takeaway from this video is don't do that excessive kind of arch, <laughs> you know, curvature when you're benching. You know, that just really, it looks out of control and not efficient. So um, you wanna keep it relatively flat back, but not too much of a curve. So, um, and then of course with practice and time, you find out what stash, what um, stance works for you. Like the video if you enjoyed it, uh, feel free, feel pleased to share this video if you found it useful, uh, if you wanna learn from me and check out the links below for more for me. If you're interested in training, uh, email me the link and information is below.